but I see some re repression. So I feel like, let's arrange these cards here. I feel like you have someone in your life who is not as honest. They might be coming off like, like an authority figure, kind of giving you lectures and things like that. Seven of Coins. And then we have the Knight of Spears. So someone above you, it may be a boss or a father figure, is kind of making demands on how he expects you to behave and what he expects you to do for whether it's his company or his family. It may be an in-law. And I see you repressing some emotions here and you're putting in the work. You're, you're doing everything he's asking you. But this person continually shows up disappointed. So they walk away disappointed from your victories. And inwardly, you feel like you have the power. Like these people rely on you. But they're kind of using you as a scapegoat, like a sacrificial lamb. Even though you have their best interests in heart. Yeah, their best, yeah, their best interests in heart. Your power is coming from your internal ability to go within. Your motivation is coming from within. It's not about this father figure who's making demands on you. Someone that you're tempted to leave behind. You're tempted to escape. And I'm even seeing something like going to, a going to a casino and gambling. Like that feeling of just releasing everything and not caring about the, the effects. Um, but these two, these two cards look a lot like you're repressing your energy. This devil inside, these internal demons... And you're just being the person that you're expected to be. But no one else can no one else can take your place. No one can walk in your shoes. These people who are making demands on you kind of have no choice. They have no other option. But they still want to play this authority figure in your life. This could also be your own conscience. You may be being hard on yourself. But it's not, it's not sincere. Like, you know you're doing a good job. You know that what you plan to accomplish takes time. It's a process. And you're completing your goals down the checklist. You're checking off all these items. And technically, it's a reason to celebrate. But you still, you're still balancing between being happy about what you accomplish and still maintaining this drive to keep going forward. It's like you're putting on this this mask or this face of I'm not good enough in order to motivate yourself to be better. Even though you know deep down that no one can take your place. You're irreplaceable. The people who try to fight against you or challenge you in any way, they they don't even understand the level that you're on. It's almost embarrassing and it's actually kind of funny. That they consider you the lamb. They consider you a sheep. But you're more like the shepherd in this situation. And you love what you do, you love your job, you love your work, you love your family. 
but sometimes the pressure can be a bit much if they don't really understand just how much work you put into this lifestyle you've created for them. If they really think that they're the boss of you, it still kind of seems like a joke, but it's something that you're dealing with. The way you get through this is just remembering that you are on top. You are the one who keeps this train running. It's the way you feel about yourself. It's your own goals that you pursue. And the people around you are just benefiting from that. So there's really nothing they can do or say that's going to stop you. If it ever starts to weigh down, remember you do have the power.